Now this, and it'll be a little bit rough with this little guy because I want to prove a point here. This is tonic immobility, the myth of tonic immobility. This little guy does not care whether he's upside or down. And again, I'm not hurting him in any way. He's frustrating him. But if you'll notice, in the upside down position, he is not, let me remove that copepod for the little guy. He is not completely freezing. He's actually whipping his head and trying to bite me. So this myth of tonic immobility should not be trusted. Notice his mouth is fully functioning and he's ready to bite me. He's even his nictitating membranes, if the camera will pick this up, are functioning in an attempt to prepare to bite me. So this guy is definitely not being put to sleep in tonic immobility. Now the myth is gonna, the myth guys are gonna say, oh no, you're not busting this myth because in fact these guys would react differently if they were adults. So we're going to work on an adult as soon as we get a big large shark in a few minutes, hopefully, we'll get a large shark on here. We'll show you the same results, but I got to get this little guy back in the water now before he gets upset. Again, beautiful Atlantic sharp nose, tonic immobility, a myth. The myth of tonic immobility, again, revisited with a little bit bigger, bigger bonnet head. Now, this one's a little bit worn down, but you notice that even in a state of tonic immobility, the shark is ready to attack. Yep. See, tonic immobility at its finest. And this is completely upside down. This is a worn out shark and it's still ready to bite. Again, I wouldn't recommend this at home. This is a bonnet head shark, for those of you who haven't seen it. This is a bonnet head shark. It's a male, as you can see from the claspers. Beautiful black spotting on these. I love this species. And you can see the bonnet head, not to be confused with the hammerhead. This is the bonnet head. A beautiful male, slightly subadult. Ah, the myth of tonic immobility. But again, you can see the black spotting and the shovel head rather than the hammer head in the same Sphernidae family as your shark, as your hammer head, same Sphernidae family. Ah! The myth of tonic immobility. And let's see if we can do a close up on this guy. And again, you can see the black spotting on the side and that beautiful shot of such a beautiful shark. And we need to get this guy back in the water. And again, as you can see, it's a male. But I want you to see how the myth of tonic immobility is after all a myth. And hopefully we'll get you about a five footer to show the same thing. 